Bob. Yeah. Norris, sir. Are you good with the 22nd, which is Monday? The 22nd? Oh, instead of the 18th? Yeah, because. Statue. Statue. Oh, I'm fine. I'll, I'll, I'll make it work. Okay. I'm not going to be out of town, so I'll make it work. Bill. When is that? Monday. Monday, 22nd. You're going to be and I will you're double, buying dinner. I'll try to get my schedule. And I will double check out here in the morning. <laughs> will you check with your secretary, Bill? Yeah, yeah, yeah please. Yeah. Um, email her, Bill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> email her. Uh, email her in the next room. All right. Uh, all right, folks, at this time, I'll now call this meeting order. It is 7 o'clock. This is a uh, a uh, special meeting call. So at this time, if we all stand, we'll have our Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we will observe a moment of silence. Thank you. Okay. Board, you have in front of you our agenda for tonight. Is there any changes to the agenda? Additions or deletions? Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? So Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. Motion to approve the agenda was by Commissioner Rice, second by Commissioner. Two thousand sixteen, and thereafter, on the second Tuesday of each consecutive calendar month, thereafter, at the same time and place as above stated, unless modified or amended by resolution adopted pursuant to law. Furthermore, the clerk to the Board of County Commissioners is hereby authorized to provide such notices and publication of this resolution as may be by law required. Adopted on this eleventh day of February, two thousand sixteen. Any discussion from the board? Yes. Do I hear a motion to approve the resolution establishing a regular monthly meetings? So moved. Uh, do I hear a second? <clears throat> second. Okay, I have a motion by Commissioner Wechtel for the approval of the resolution, second by Commissioner Gentry. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, likewise. Okay. Number three. Mr. Chairman, Pammy Cody had. Uh, conflict tonight on this night, but it having your packets a recommendation for a candidate to fill a vacant lab tech position. A um, person gave their notice <clears throat> just before our last meeting and the position's been vacant for a few weeks and it's a critical position for how they operate up there. And you can see the recommendation from Tammy after several interviews. If I could take just a minute, I'm going to look over this just a second. This, I did not have this prior to the meeting, so I just want to look through it and review it a little. Any questions from the board or thanks for Forrest on this item? The salary and everything is consistent. Yes. Yeah. As are the certifications appear to mm -hmm. all be in order. Okay. So she don't have to have any additional certification. Mm -hmm. no, she's got everything. I think it was narrowed down pretty quick on this. Because of who that. met those certifications. Yeah. Okay. And obviously it's been budgeted already. Yeah. <clears throat> Any more comment? Questions? Yeah. Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve Mayor of the Sams as a medical laboratory technician too for the health department? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay, motion 
by Commissioner Gentry for the position and second by Commissioner Rice. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, likewise. Okay, motion passed. The next item, regards to the fee schedule for well water testing that was added before I knew Candy could not be here that come late until the regular meeting. Okay. As far as the uh, the water testing, yeah. Okay. All right. Animal shelter. That's your school. That's uh, you have, yeah, I'm sorry, you just got these, but they came in. Uh, just a few days ago, but there's a part-time position of animal shelter that person has left that is already budgeted. Uh, Sam had advertised this I think before Christmas, yeah. and he has a candidate uh, he was recommending for that. He interviewed all of the others who were listed. Well, this right along for us with all these other boards and these things we have, we'll have a hard time finding people. It's, uh, it's good to know that people are wanting to come and work, even only part-time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Any more discussion? And this is uh, in the budget. Mm -hmm. It's related to replacing some of those <clears throat> at the same rate. Okay. Any more questions or comments? Uh, okay. Do I hear a motion to approve Hannah Anders as shelter worker with the animal shelter? So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Motion made by Commissioner Gentry to approve Hannah Anders as shelter worker in the animal shelter. Second by Commissioner Rice. All in favor, raise your right hand. Mm -hmm. All opposed, likewise. Okay. Okay, four, number five. Uh, next item is an agreement with Frontier Communications for phone service at the finance office and inspections office in order to get the development services office in order to get them moved as soon as possible. Uh, I'd like to get your approval on this. It does the installation um, and the new service that the phones that come with it will cost. Uh, $5,995. Darlene was prepared a budget amendment that she would have voted on Tuesday night, but she would now look at it at your regular meeting on the 22nd that would um, pull that money from contingency, I believe. Or was it pulling it from maintenance? Um, contingency. Okay. I think we were going to pay it out maintenance. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We will pay for this from the contingency fund. This will allow installation on the 20th. Uh, what's, what's, it, what's it for? Phone service and finance office and uh, develop the inspections office right behind us there. Yeah, and they, it's in the modular that you just renovated. Yeah. Right there, right? Yeah. There. Yeah. It is. Uh, this also solves your. Yeah. Offices problems with the phones as well. Yes. <clears throat> so why are we doing this? We have people moving in to a new office there, and we need a system that is within our control. Um, the line, the system we currently use is tied in with the jail, and there are times that that has raised problems from people calling our line and getting to jail, people calling the jail and getting us, uh, and other things as well. Doesn't be your own standalone system out there. Standalone system, as as it should have been to begin with, but that's water under the bridge. Um, this would be a standalone system that would be housed in our office and under our control, and that would um, 
be something we can deal with. There's an email. And this doesn't affect the emergency management building? It will. It'll okay. be included All that. as well. So everything on our hill okay. will be under this phone system. All right. That's what I was getting at. I and if we, if we brought more people up to one of the other trailers, I think really only one of them is usable, but if we brought them to the other trailer, we can add phones to it with relative ease. Okay. Um, the monthly cost is dramatically lower, not from what we're doing now, but from the traditional phone line. Okay. It's a voice over IP system and cost more to install, but you pay for it after a few years. The biggest expense for installation was actually paid in 2014 when uh, faster internet had to be run in order to make it work, and that was a $25,000 expense that the county had incurred at that time. It's, it's there, and we can use that existing thing. At the time that system was installed, one of the phone companies removed the landline that was coming into the building, and we've not reconnected that, and we've used this system, and it's worked. Okay. Will, will we lose anything going to this system away from the current system we have now? We should not. Okay. Um, we can still we'll actually use the same telephone. Right. They will be hooked in to a different trunk, from what I understand, of where everything is coming and going from. The phones themselves cost a lot per phone. So we have those existing for our office, but we have to have new ones for inspections mm -hmm. folks who have been on a much older system in their office. Mm -hmm. um, and I understand that there may be <coughs> another office in the county that's no longer going to be using those, but we might actually grab those. So before we sign it, we're going to say, let's grab any phone that anybody's not using that could be hooked onto this. And for every phone, that saves us $500. Okay. So, so the, when, the, when the system is actually installed out there, mm -hmm. where, is, where exactly is it going to go? don't know. I have to talk with okay. people, but it will be probably it, in our building. It'll be in, okay. Yeah. 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 The IT closet. Okay. In the supply room or something. Yeah, we've got a supply room where the server yeah. and other things are, and that would be okay. where we put it. It'll be good. Okay. okay. Any more questions? Discussion? Mr. Laws, do you need to look over this, or is this something that we just take force, 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 to send it force hard work and diligence in getting this done? And okay, so you've already seen it. I'm saying it. Okay, send it to me. And it looks pretty boilerplate, actually. Yeah, we we actually have the uh, same contracting system in Wentz County. Yep. Good. And you see an email there. Yeah. Do you have the ability to do conference? Yeah, we can do conference calls well, with it okay. rather than having to set up the free line. Right. Um, and, you know, there are various things we could add on over the years. I don't see much except maybe one of these days getting a, uh, one of those units we can put in the conference room. But that's not an urgent thing. Over it. We've not needed it until we do. We won't really explore that. But, um, they are easy to uh, uh, to do those sorts of things. It's just a little better organizational tool. It's just we've had too many people on it, and uh, things seem to just go wherever when it gets used. Okay. So, and other reasons. Any more discussion? Questions? Comments? Okay. Frontier does not have the system at the jail. Mm -hmm. Frontier does not have the system. They do not. TSA Choice has that system. Okay. Okay. Anything else from the board? Nothing else. Do I hear a motion to approve the Frontier Service <laughs> Agreement? So moved. Okay. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. Motion is uh, motion made by Commissioner Rice, second by Commissioner Gentry for the Frontier Service Agreement. All in favor, raise your right hand. All opposed, likewise. Okay. Motion passed. Anything else for us? Do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second.
Motion to adjourn by Commissioner Gentry. Second by Commissioner Rice. All in favor, raise your right hand. We are adjourned. I will make sure we have an employee second. Who leaves to drive well, considering, <laughs> guys, considering the payment. We're